Main article. Coruscant -y. There are people from a thousand worlds on Coruscant. Worlds that have faced similar struggles. You may see it as a city of metal, but there is wisdom to be found here. And allies. Ki Gun Jin. To tear, although Coruscant was believed to be the homeworld of the human species, the Coruscant -y were as varied as the galaxy itself, especially as one journeyed below the surface of the skyscrapers and into the underworld. Trillions of beings resided on the planet, and humans made up 68% of the population. According to Ki Gun Jin, there were people from a thousand worlds living on Coruscant. Tear. The priestess of wood from Brian, disdained Coruscant's planet-wide urban sprawl as an abomination. Nevertheless, Jin encouraged Tear to take advantage of its diverse population, noting that there were many individuals on Coruscant whose worlds faced adversities similar to that of Brian. As the center of galactic power, senators and delegates of every represented planet had a residence on Coruscant. From there they would spend their days either working in the Senate or hosting events such as parties and political meetings. Additionally, the planet served as the home of large communities of various species, some who rarely returned to their original homeworld. Many of those communities of species that were not human resided in the lower levels of the city. With the formation of the Empire, even the humans whose home planet had fallen out of favor with the Imperial government, such as Alderaan, were forced into enclaves in the underworld. On the surface levels of Coruscant, skyscrapers served as homes and businesses for the wealthy, powerful, and politically connected. They were ferried by private speeder or an air taxi from one tower to the next or to the various theaters, clubs, operas, and other entertainment areas of Coruscant. Some journeyed to the surface street levels or Coruscant's surface parks to conduct clandestine meetings or to mingle in the crowds of people that streamed through the walkways of the residential and commercial areas. Among the rich and powerful of the planet were the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic and members of the Galactic Senate. The influential and wealthy of Coruscant thrived in lavish lifestyles, attending meetings and social gatherings in high-rise apartments, dining in fine restaurants overlooking the city, partying in the entertainment districts, and viewing large-scale shows in theaters and operas. Even as the Republic decayed, the Clone Wars raged on, and the average citizen became disenfranchised, Coruscant's wealthy continued their lifestyle. The propaganda artist Janior believed that this generation's lack of focus on galactic politics contributed to the decline and fall of the Republic. On the streets of the city in the shadows of skyscrapers teemed the planet's blue-collar working population. Many lived in the various housing blocks of the surface structures in relative comfort though not nearly as extravagant as the planet's wealthy and powerful. Many worked on the upper and lower surface levels or enjoyed the entertainment and restaurants that were more catered to their financial abilities. Below the housing blocks and surface levels was the population inhabiting the Coruscant underworld. A term used to describe both the thousands of levels underneath the surface, and Coruscant's criminal population, the underworld was home to millions of the planet's population who were too poor to move upward or were hiding from the attentions of the authorities. The citizens who lived here rarely if ever during their lifetime saw the surface of the planet. Living between vast buildings and infrastructure that supported the surface, they carried on their lives at the mercy of the violence, decay, and constant threat of death. 